Hi, I'm Lucia, Sail Croatia employee, and today I'm going to take you around the island of Vis. In the middle of Adriatic Sea, halfway to Italy, you'll find Vis, the most remote and perhaps mysterious of Croatia's islands. Closed off to the rest of the world for decades, it has rich and unique history, offering a glimpse into the life of the authentic Dalmatia. The oldest Greek settlement in the Adriatic, known as Issa, soon renamed to Greece, came under many rules over centuries, including Roman, Venetian, Austrian, French, British, Italian, Yugoslavian and eventually Croatian. This is a small island, so we recommend renting a scooter and taking a tour across the island to the breathtaking fishing town of Komija. From here you can take a short boat trip to a neighboring island of Biševo, where you can gaze inside the magical blue cave. Heading back towards this town, you can take a swim stop at the famous and very unique Stiniva beach. It would be a shame to miss out on some of the amazing local food and wine that is on offer on the island of Vis. We recommend visiting Rockies, one of the oldest restaurants on the island, to indulge in traditional Pekka and local wines. My name is Oliver Rocky, one of the owners and owner of Storana Rockies. We started the story that we were the only private winery on the Otoku for 40 years. Što se tiče restorana, tu smo se isprofilirali radeći peke. Specifičnost peke je da peka nije bila tradicionalno viško jelo nikad. Tako smo tu peku pokupili od drugih i davali smo neki svoj ton toj peki. Možemo kazati da nam je prvih 15.000 peka bilo teško, poslije toga je sve bilo lakše. I drago nam je da smo jedna od boljih destinacija na otoku. At first glance, this island appears calm and peaceful. However, hidden in tunnels and bunkers, strewn across the island, are tales of its interesting military past. This history is steeped in military occupation and mystery. During World War II, Yugoslavia's leader Tito used this as his base and hideaway constructing a maze of tunnels, bunkers and a well-known airstrip that served as a launch pad for the Allied forces. At the tip of the peninsula, sitting guard to the entry of East Towns Bay is evidence of the island's peculiar history, Fort George, built by the British during their occupation at the time of the Napoleonic Wars. Nowadays it is mostly used for events, making for an impressive venue to host a party. Finally, hiking to the highest peak on the island, Mount Hume, will reward you with incredible views out across the open sea. <laughs> 